Welcome to Excel Dynamic Chart Series number 14. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Dynamic Chart Series 12 to 16. Hey, in this video here, we want to see how to build a progress chart based on a web query looking at stock prices. In our last video, we did uh, a web query, we put our web query down here, it's live. Every time we refreshed it, our current prices update, and then our percentages for um, each one of our targets, uh, compare our percentages, whatever the current price compared to the target is. We built this little chart. But here we want to do uh, a lot better. Um, we're not going to do the web query again. We'll use the one from here, but we're going to build a progress chart. We'll use the bar. We'll turn it on its side and do a couple other tricks. Because uh, this chart's fine. It has the percentages, right? We can see visually uh, Whole Foods Market International is 64% of target, whereas uh, Google is 91. But this chart will be even more, uh, have more visual information. Uh, about how close whatever the stock is to the target. We're going to highlight this range and in the active cell equals click on the sheet tab and I'm going to click on the current price for Google. Control enter. If you didn't see how to uh, do that web query then go ahead and watch dynamic chart series number 13. I could see I have an absolute cell reference. I'm going to click in the active cell and hit the F4 key. Control enter. Now, the same problem as in our last video, we cannot plot these values because we have some really big ones and some really small ones. So we go ahead and we're going to do a percentage equals whatever the current price is divided by the target. And we, uh, we need, since we're going to have two columns and we're going to do a progress chart, we need the actual target in percentage two. Well, the target is, since we have these as percentages, these are all 100%. Now we can highlight our series name and our series values. The series names and series values, I'm using control to highlight non-contiguous cells, cells not next to each other. I'm going to go up to Insert, Bar, and select Bar, Clustered Bar. All right, percentage of target is right here. Actually, we can get a bunch rid of a bunch of this junk. I'm going to click right there, Control-1 to format that. I want overlap of a 100. I want that on the secondary axis. You can already see it's starting to emerge. We'll say maybe 192 here for gap width. That means the progress is a little bit smaller than the target column. Now I'm going to click on the target column, fill, no fill, border color, solid, and uh, black is fine. Right now we need, you can see there's a little problem here, we need to change the uh, parameters max and min here. Highlight the axis, control one. I'm going to change fixed maximum to one. Close. So now we have our charts. Now we don't need these because we're going to put uh, labels on the inside. We need our labels there, perfect. I'm going to click on the um, percent of target, right click, uh, add data labels, that's not going to work. Control Z, we're going to have to go up to layout because we want more control. Data labels and down to more. And I want um, inside the end, like that. So as it fills up, the percentage will move also. Click close. Font color, oh no, here I have whatever the font color button, I'm going to say white. And there we have our uh, progress chart based on a web query. Now, I don't think the stock market is still open. Uh, s Whole Foods market is 77.5. Actually, I'm going to increase the decimals here. Control 1. Number. I'm not going to link it to the cell. Let's say percentage. Maybe I'm going to put uh, four decimals. Now I'm going to go over here, 91.8308. And the web query, you saw how to do it in the last video. Right click, refresh. And hopefully we had one last. And yeah, it did update. Let's see if we can change it again. Right click, refresh. 
Oh, okay, so the stock markets are still open. You can see it's dynamically changing, and these will, so this progress chart will go up and down, and the percentage will change, and uh, everything. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.